French President Emmanuel Macron on Tuesday declared his country would support Africa's need for security as he began a three-country tour marked by France's military vamp. Greetings and welcome to a thought-provoking exploration of a crucial global issue that reverberates across continents. In this comprehensive investigation, we dive into the intricate dynamics of France's expulsion impact, economy, and African resource dependence. This topic holds profound implications for economies and resource reliance throughout the African continent. Join us on this enlightening journey as we dissect historical connections, contentious policies, and the far-reaching economic and social consequences stemming from France's expulsion tactics. Number 1. Historical Context Our journey begins by entangling the nuanced history of France's interactions with African countries, woven into the fabric of colonialism's complexities. The colonial era witnessed France's considerable presence across Africa, marked by arbitrary border demarcations that often dismissed tribal and ethnic divisions. As the 20th century ushered in independence for several African nations, a complex tapestry of financial and economic arrangements persisted between these nations and France, shaped by considerations from the colonial era. To grasp the effects of France's expulsion, it's crucial to acknowledge that historical context significantly impacting migration patterns resource exploitation, and prevailing socio-economic dynamics. Number 2. Expulsion Policies and Coups Advancing further, we scrutinize the expulsion of France from Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, contextualizing it within the burden of colonial taxes imposed on Mali. In the aftermath of coups in these nations, a seismic shift occurred as African countries endeavored to reclaim control over their resources. The intricate dance of power and resources becomes apparent as we unravel the reasons behind France's expulsion, shedding light on the resilience of African nations against historical injustices. Number 3. Exploitation of African Resources Our exploration takes a critical turn as we analyze instances of France's exploitation of African resources, drawing parallels with similar events in Gabon. This scrutiny reveals a pattern of resource extraction that has left African nations questioning the imposition of Western powers over their resources. We investigate the rising resistance of African governments, signaling a significant shift towards resource autonomy and a reclamation of sovereignty over their natural wealth. Number 4. Economic Impact on African Nations Diving into the intricate layers of France's expulsion policies reveals a profound and extensive economic impact on African nations. The reverberations are felt acutely in countless households and communities, where financial instability becomes a harsh reality. This instability is further intensified by a notable decline in remittances from expatriates, who often serve as the primary breadwinners for their families back home. As this financial lifeline weakens, the consequences are dire, creating barriers to accessing essential services, such as healthcare and education. The cyclical underdevelopment spurred by these expulsion policies becomes an impediment to broader economic growth and investment entrenching a detrimental cycle that undermines the very foundations of African economies. This economic unraveling doesn't occur in isolation. It sparks a domino effect of social challenges. Increased social tensions become palpable as communities grapple with the strain of economic instability. The ties between African economies and their expatriate communities, once viewed as conduits for development, now stand strained. Higher unemployment rates further compound the societal challenges, creating a complex tapestry of economic and social issues that demand a nuanced and holistic approach. This paints a stark picture of the urgent need for comprehensive and cooperative strategies to mitigate the multifaceted effects of France's deportation policies, emphasizing the interconnectedness of economic stability and social harmony. Addressing the far-reaching impacts necessitates not only an understanding of the immediate economic fallout, but also a strategic plan that acknowledges the intricate relationship between expatriate communities and the broader African economic landscape. The urgency of this comprehensive approach is underscored by the profound interdependence that has evolved over time. Crafting effective solutions demands an appreciation of the symbiotic nature of these relationships and a commitment to policies that foster collaboration, economic resilience, and social cohesion. Number 5. African Resource Dependence Dependence on natural resources stands as a pivotal aspect of Africa's economic structure. Many African countries rely significantly on commodities for their economic survival, endowed with a diverse array of natural resources, from minerals to agricultural products. While these resources play a crucial role in supporting both domestic industries and international markets, 
their dependence poses potential drawbacks. The vulnerability to global commodity price fluctuations and hindrances to diversification become evident challenges. Finding a delicate balance between harnessing the advantages of these resources and mitigating the associated risks is crucial for the sustained growth of African economies. Number 6. The Domino Effect Embarking on an exploration of the domino effect theory within the context of France's expulsion policies unveils a compelling narrative of interconnected repercussions. This theoretical framework illustrates the profound impact that a singular action can have, transcending geographic boundaries and resonating in the sphere of global dynamics, particularly in issues as intricate as migration and expulsion. The initial ripples of these policies manifest in the immediate experiences of those directly affected, spanning from heightened migration patterns to exacerbated economic inequalities and, at times, even fostering political instability. This conceptualization of a domino effect stands as a poignant reminder of the intricate web binding global decisions, accentuating the critical need for well-considered and intentional policies in our ever-interconnected global society. Number 7. Alternative Solutions in navigating the intricate web of challenges posed by France's expulsion policies and their impact on African economies, the exploration of alternative solutions becomes paramount. One pivotal strategy involves fostering diplomatic exchanges and mutual understandings between France and African nations, prioritizing human rights, and championing long-term immigration policies. This approach aims to establish a framework of cooperation that respects the dignity and rights of migrants fostering a more humane and sustainable approach to migration. Concurrently, African nations are encouraged to embark on a journey of economic diversification, strategically reducing reliance on specific industries or resources. By broadening their economic base, these nations can enhance resilience and mitigate the adverse effects of expulsion policies. Moreover, the imperative for international cooperation is underscored, extending beyond the bilateral engagement of France and Africa to encompass the global community. Collaborative efforts on a worldwide scale are deemed essential to address the intricate issues of migration, resource exploitation, and economic inequality comprehensively. Lastly, a critical component of sustainable change lies in empowering local populations through robust education and skill development initiatives. By investing in human capital, African nations can create opportunities that lessen dependence on migration, fostering growth and prosperity within their borders. Number 8 broader implications. The wider effects of France's expulsion practices extend beyond the African continent. These policies serve as symbols for more significant challenges in our globalized society. They underscore the complexities of migration, international travel, and the pursuit of better opportunities. The economic and social effects ripple globally, impacting supply networks, commerce, and market stability. Such expulsions may intensify regional unrest, casting shadows on world peace and relations. A multilateral strategy is required, emphasizing international cooperation, social justice, environmentally sound business practices, and human rights. The global community must work collaboratively towards comprehensive solutions addressing these larger ramifications. Number 9. Conclusion As we reflect on the odyssey through France's expulsion impact, economy and African resource dependence, it becomes evident that our exploration has cast light on the intricate forces orchestrating this complex narrative. The multifaceted effects of expulsion policies on African economies, the intricate web of resource dependence, and the broader implications for the global environment have all been meticulously dissected. Rather than an isolated quandary, this issue emerges as a microcosm, encapsulating broader challenges that demand our attention. To forge lasting solutions, a head-on confrontation with these interwoven predicaments is imperative. Yet, amidst this pursuit, the central tenet remains the prioritization of the welfare of all stakeholders involved. It is in this holistic approach that the seeds of enduring change are sown, acknowledging the interconnectedness of global challenges and aspiring to a future where equitable solutions benefit the collective welfare. Number 10. Taking Action for Positive Change Having delved into the complexities, it is now imperative that we not only comprehend the problem, but also contemplate practical solutions for making a difference. Crucial ideas for action emerge. 1. Fostering conversation. Encourage direct and productive communication between France and African countries, seeking common ground on immigration and commercial ties. Diplomatic negotiations can result in more humanitarian and long-lasting policies, 
reducing the negative repercussions of expulsions. 2. Economically diversified African countries must diversify their economies to reduce over-reliance on specific industries or resources. Economic diversification can enhance resilience and stability, mitigating the negative effects of expulsion policies on the economy. 3. Welfare and human rights Promote legislation that prioritizes human rights and the well-being of foreigners and their families. Support networks, legal protections, and pathways to health care and education should be provided for those impacted. 4. International cooperation To address larger concerns such as migration, resource exploitation, and economic inequality, encourage international cooperation. Governments, NGOs, and international organizations must collaborate to ensure reasonable and equitable solutions to these intricate issues. 5. Educational projects. Invest in education and skill building in local communities to provide the tools for creating sustainable futures. A good education equips people with the skills needed to flourish and advance their countries. 6. Accountability and transparency. Encourage openness in resource management and business collaborations to avoid exploitation. Holding companies and governments responsible for their activities ensures adherence to moral standards. 7. Public education and support. Educate the public on the effects of expulsion policies and their broader ramifications. Participate in advocacy campaigns to persuade governments to enact more empathetic and environmentally sound legislation. 8. Data gathering and research. Encourage research projects examining the effects of expulsion regulations and the causes of resource reliance. Data-driven insights can inform decisions and policies based on facts. 9. Grassroots and local initiatives. Support neighborhood and grassroots activities seeking to enhance the quality of life and economic prospects in impacted areas. Encourage local communities to take an active role in their own growth. 10. Political participation. Encourage civic engagement and participation to impact governmental choices on resource management and expulsion policies. Voting advocacy and political participation ensure that laws reflect public benefit. We appreciate your active participation in France's expulsion impact, economy and African resource dependence. If you found this video educational and thought-provoking, we encourage you to like, share, and subscribe for more videos on vital world issues. Your support fuels our efforts to disseminate information and foster awareness. Together, let's strive for positive change in our globally interconnected world.